Hey everyone, this is Randall, and welcome to Battle Report number 20 in our A Song of Ice and Fire Battle Report series. Since our last Battle Report, the channel has hit a bit of a milestone, crossing the 1,000 subscriber point. I want to say a big thank you to all the channel's subscribers, viewers, and supporters, and an especially hearty thank you to all the players featured in past Battle Reports, to the local game stores that have hosted me, including The Forge, Goldmine, and Dragon's Lair in the Houston area, and to other collaborators like the guys from the Hits and Crits channel. Without any of these folks that I've mentioned, this channel wouldn't be what it has become. Humble though that may be in this small corner of YouTube. I started producing game content on the channel just over 16 months ago, after feeling a desire to give back to the community that had provided so much content and support while I was getting started in this game. I wasn't sure how long I would produce content for, but when I recorded my first battle report with my cell phone propped up against the starter box that I had brought my minis to the game in, I never would have imagined that I would have produced 20 battle reports a little over a year later, along with various other uh, A Song of Ice and Fire and hobby-related videos. I've not lost any of my interest in this fine game that we play, and I look forward to producing many more battle reports and other pieces of content related to A Song of Ice and Fire and whatever other games I may be playing. Thank you all again so much for your feedback, kind words, constructive criticism, and most of all, your love and enthusiasm for this game that has in turn kept me motivated to play and produce content. Now, I'm looking ahead to the next distant target of 2,000 subs and all the hopefully great content that we'll share between now and then. Alright, so with all that sappy gratitude and back padding out of the way, let's get on to the battle that you all clicked this video to see. For this battle, I played a local player named Zach at the Forge in Houston, Texas. We played the Fire and Blood game mode, selected semi-randomly from a random assortment of game modes. I brought along a Bolton army, led by Steel Shanks Walton. With such a lack of unit variety in the Bolton faction, there are really only so many ways that a list can distinguish itself from another. One of those ways is obviously the commander, but then it really comes down to your ratio of combat to non-combat units, and whether you brought any multiples of units. For this game, I'm trying an unconventional strategy of only bringing two NCUs and five combat units. The theory that informed this choice was that Boltons need to kill units quickly to level the playing field, so perhaps taking one more combat unit than my opponent will help me gang up on, an, on a unit early on and make my lack of a third NCU less significant. That is the hope, at least. Additionally, I brought along two units of Blackguard. Their job in this game will be to line back as much of my opponent's front line as possible so that my archers will be protected and can pepper his army and mine at will. On the offensive and maneuver side of the house, I brought along the fragile but deadly Bolton Bastard Girls and Cutthroats. My opponent Zach brought with him a Stark list led by Rickard Karstark. I had never played against Rickard Karstark before and couldn't remember any of his tactics cards, so I was going into this game pretty blind. It was refreshing playing against a new, to me, commander. The rest of Zach's list was heavily Karstark themed. To complement his infantry corps, Zach brought along, brought along a unit of Stark Outriders with Brendan Tully attachment, which will allow him to outflank. This worried me quite a bit since the Outriders, while not an offensive powerhouse, could do some serious damage to my dogs or cutthroats if they got the jump on them in a flank. Alright, now let's take a look at the deployment and my initial assumptions for this game. Alright, so here's the deployment. And as you see, I've marked the marked units for the Fire and Blood game mode with a red star. And above them, on the screen only, I'm showing which of the objective cards they have. So on Zach's side, his Karstark Loyalists have the uh, weaken, weakening the opponent's unit before they attack them. And uh, the Karstark Spearmen have the highest attack die value. My Black Guard on the bottom left there have Sundering, and my Bolton Bastard Girls have Precision. So my deployment is pretty, it's pretty apparent what I'm doing here. Uh, my deployment, I have my, uh, my kind of anvil all stuck together there with those two Black Guard units. And then I have my actual kind of glass cannon offensive units all pushed off to one flank. The idea here was that I wanted all of my offensive units on one side so that I could ideally smash through uh, one flank of, of Zach's army and then kind of wheel around, which we'll see in the uh, initial plan here coming up. Uh, his Outriders were kind of the, the wild card here. I didn't know where they were going to appear, so really 
I, I figured they were going to appear wherever I was weakest anyway. So I just, I left one flank with just the black guard who could probably take an outrider charge fairly easily and then um, just kind of loaded all my offense on, on the other side. For Zach, he's kind of spaced his units out into like a chunk of three. So he's got his main front line kind of held down by the Sworn Swords with Rickard Karstark. And then Loyalists on one side and Berserkers on the other side. And then he has the Karstark Spears off to uh, the other side. I think he put the Spears over there because he saw my offensive units going over to that flank and, you know, assumed that since the spearmen have shields that they're going to be a little bit tankier. Um, but I think the spearmen are, the Karstark spearmen are one of these cases of uh, false advertisement. You know, they, they're these big beefy looking guys with uh, heavy fur cloaks and a gigantic shield, uh, but they really can't take all that much abuse. All right, so looking at the initial plan, uh, there's not a lot of surprises on, on my side. It's pretty clear what I'm doing. So my, my front line is going to move up. My archers are going to stay pretty much centered behind my uh, my front line of black guard to be able to shoot any of the units that uh, engage with the black guard, and they don't need line of sight. So really anything, really anything that's up there near the black guard, my archers will be able to take shots at. And uh, I was just concerned with keeping the archers safe from any kind of charges. Uh, and if I could keep my black guard spaced appropriately, then really the only thing I'd have to worry about is is maybe those berserkers wheeling around to, to a flank or uh, the outflank of the outriders, which I didn't know whether they were going to pop in on round one or round three, because I am I am first player, so Zach has the option to drop them on round one if he wants, or on round three. So I didn't know whether they were going to appear immediately or uh, if the battle was going to get underway before they popped in. Now on my right flank... It's pretty clear that my cutthroats are going to just kind of blitz up the field and that my uh, my my dogs are going to try to kind of wheel around and join the cutthroats in alpha striking something. Now, Zach's units, I was pretty sure that those Stark Sworn Swords would kind of march up and just try to hold the line a little bit. But uh, I wasn't sure what he was going to do with those Loyalists or with the Berserkers. We'll look at a couple of scenarios here in the next couple of slides, but, you know, I, I thought there were a, kind of a couple options. There's kind of the, what I like to call uh, the most probable option, the most probable course of action, and the most dangerous course of action using some kind of military doctrinal terms here. Um, but we'll look at those here in just a minute. All right, so the, the most probable course of action that I, I thought about uh, after our initial deployment was that my front line was going to move up because I knew what I was going to do. Uh, but the most probable course of action for the enemy was I, I assumed that they would probably just march straight forward and engage my front line and hopefully break through them. Uh, I mean, Zach's hoping to break through them. And then I also assumed the most probable course of action on his side on to meet my uh, my right flank was to just march those uh, those Karstark spears right into my cutthroats or receive a charge from my cutthroats. So uh, pretty, a pretty simple uh, course of action here of just both sides essentially moving forward into each other and then uh, my flank, my right flank kind of doing their thing, wheeling around and trying to alpha strike the spearmen. Uh, the biggest kind of wild card here was, was still that, that outrider outflank. I didn't know where they were going to appear. Uh, anywhere they appeared was going to be bad news for me. It was just a matter of when they were going to appear. Uh, most dangerous for me, which we'll move into that now. Most dangerous for me would be the uh, the Outriders popping in on turn one. Uh, that was where I I found them to be the most dangerous. If they come in on round one and then gum up my, my plan uh, to kind of alpha strike that right flank there, the Outriders could then engage with my dogs, and if not wipe them out, then at least tie them up for a while. Uh, I don't think, I think they'd be tied up for at least a round, maybe two rounds, or, or possibly kill them. And then my cutthroats would be kind of hanging out there in the breeze to, to go kind of mano a mano with those Karstark spears. And then uh, part of the most dangerous course of action is that those loyalists, instead of locking up with my other Blackguard unit, they 
cut through uh, cut through that palisade and then get ready to charge into my cutthroats and finish them off. And since my blackguard is so slow, Steel Shanks blackguard unit might not have enough uh, enough space or distance to to intercept those those loyalists. So most dangerous here is that my right flank uh, essentially just gets shattered before they're able to do anything, and that my my anvil in the center gets divided a bit as I kind of try to peel off one of my black guard to meet that um, that push onto my right flank. And then also part of this is that the berserkers flank my my black guard. So while the Stark sworn swords and my black guard kind of get into a, a foam noodle fight with each other, that those berserkers wheel around and, and hit my uh, black guard in the flank, and for me, a lot of this, a lot of this uh, flank's health or success will depend on how much damage those dreadfort archers are able to push through, and how many panic failures I inflict on my own my own troops. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Hope you all enjoy watching this game. Uh, there's no real uh, notes before we start, other than just I. Uh, I added a bunch of rules callouts as we go because uh, between myself and Zach, we we missed a handful of things. So I try to identify those as they popped up. If I missed anything, feel free to drop it in the comments section for the benefit of everyone else watching. And with all that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All righty, Frank. All right. All right. Best for, of luck. Yeah. Good luck. All right. Okay. So I am first player, right? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I'm first player. Yep. Um, Start off. Uh, use, don't need those. I will take Mr. Roos. Mm -hmm. I'll drop him on the tactics zone. Mm -hmm. Draw two additional cards. And he will give a weakened token. Oh, did you want to? Do you want since uh, the round just started and you're not first player? Do you want to outflank your? Yes. Cavalry, or you want to hang on to him? No. Hang on to him? Yeah. Okay. I will weaken your... I'll weaken these guys. Okay. And, uh, and then I'm going to use one of his orders to give a panic token to one of your units. Mm -hmm. I will panic these guys over here. All right. Uh, I'm going to start off with the North Remembers. Okay. On these guys. And you have the, uh, you printed off the new versions of these? Yeah. Print? Okay. Yeah, I just yeah, cause sleeved companies. them today. Okay. Um, should go to maneuver. Okay. These guys, they move six. Alright. I'm going to do a start of any turn. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do cruel methods. Oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. She's going oh, she to. Has an influence, right? Yeah, she's going to uh, influence these guys. What's well, the uh, the influence? They use is... their highest attack value, okay. and she removes, she removes the, token. the token. Okay. All right, I will not do that. I'll take Tybalt, and I'm just going to drop him on the wall zone. Mm. Do nothing. Sneaky. <coughs> um, I'm going to activate these guys, and they're going to move for six. Everybody moves six except for no loyalist five, sworn swords five. Yeah, you're slow. Do you, my man? All right. Oh, uh, they're activated. And he's like, hey, we're all going to lose. And he's just scaring me. 
Uh, rules clarification, is engagement range touching or is it within one inch? Engaged is touching. Touching. Yeah. All right. But you can't be any closer than one inch away from a unit. So yeah. like if I mark Well, what I'm here. saying is can I can I attack that? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. you can destroy terrain that's within one inch of you. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep. So I'll activate, um, what's his nuts, um, steel shanks. Mm -hmm. And so when our well, commanders then, activate a yep. unit in long range, you can mark them mm -hmm. to the point. Uh, I think only uh, Ricard is in range, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put a point on him. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to move up. That's a high value target for you now. Yeah. As if he wasn't before. <laughs> now he's worth three. He's uh, worth... I think he is worth three, because I think if the commander kills commander him... Commander is two, and... Uh, yeah, each time a friendly marked unit destroys an enemy, so he's not marked. He uh, oh. gained two victory points when a marked enemy unit is destroyed. Yeah. So he's not marked like that. Mm -hmm. So he's just... Uh, so each time an enemy unit with a victory point is, is destroyed, gained a victory point. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's just worth two points right now. Oh, all right. Um, so he activates... Mm -hmm. He's gonna move up. Like, six inches or so. I don't trust. So I'm going to activate these guys. Just march. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to march, but I'm not going to use the whole space. Uh, all right. And I'm not trying to fudge. Please let me know if I. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're good. This is this is a casual game. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take take out the uh, laser pointer and. <laughs> Make sure that but I noticed you brought it. Well, I brought it for line of sight. Yeah, for line of sight purposes, yeah. not for. Uh, I actually have one of those. Mm -hmm. I love it. Comes in handy. Uh, mm -hmm. it's that red one over there. Okay, so those guys have gone. Mm -hmm. Those two. These two are go. unactivated. Okay. It's on them. Well, I'll, uh, I'll activate these black guard here. Um, so uh, these guys just had a maneuver, right? Or a free yeah. maneuver. They have uh, an action. Taunt. The what? Taunt. The taunt taunts what? guys. Uh, uh, if they can see. attack me, I select a friendly unit within yeah. 12. Can I read that? Because yeah. I think my card is the old version of Taunt. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, the old version's really awesome. This is essentially, if you don't charge me, you mm -hmm. get a condition. Yeah. Okay, so you're taunting him, so I'll either have to charge you or uh, take a, a vulnerable and a weakened, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um, I don't even know if I can charge you, actually, because they're a four movement. Oh, yeah, they're four movement, so yeah, they actually can't charge you. Oh. So a six, six would take them over to here, so yeah, they can't actually charge you. Okay. Um, I mean, unless... Let's see. What does it say again? It says if it's, if they're, uh, if it's no, possible if that for them. enemy could attack or charge. And I think okay. because it's out of range. I think I would have to I would have to pivot to maybe get one corner, but even then, still, I think it would be. And I couldn't pivot. This strikes me as like a a letter over the spirit type of situation. Yeah. So yeah, okay. I would say that I probably, okay. it's not a. Okay. Play. We'll each uh, keep our taunts in our holsters for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your mother does not wear army boots. <laughs> They're just going to, I think, just kind of just move up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, that's them. Respect myself if I didn't. All right, I'm gonna activate these guys to charge in. Okay. Um, second. Uh, well, activate them. Do you want it on? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna charge anyway. Yeah. Uh, so there's really no point. Okay. Uh, it's so you're, one die, I think right? You're, yeah, it's just one. I think you're an auto in as long as you don't get a one. You're, you're good. There we go. I'm good. Now I think they can pivot and not hit that. So if, like you can pivot over your own guys when you're yeah. charging, you just can't stop on them. So yeah. I, I think as long as they don't end on it, uh, which now this I is... think they're gonna end on it. All right, so do so, they lose? So they take D and see, they'll have to, they'll have to or, like align 50% this way because mm -hmm. um, they can't gotcha. go 100%. So they'll, All right, so they take they damage? Take, I think it's D3 plus two wounds. Let me double check. Whoa, all right. Or D3 plus one, maybe it's D3 plus one. Oh, I believe you. Uh, D3 plus one wounds. Right. And, um, four. Four, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's units performing actions while in this terrain piece suffer. So, um, oh, man. So Zach, it's going to be bad for them after, after this if you don't like destroy it somehow. Uh, all righty. So let's do... Man, I was debating whether or not to do uh, an NCU and just it's like break it and then uh -huh. run in, or do I want two bites at the apple? Um, I mean, if you want to go back, like if you if you uh, you know weren't really like if it changes your decision whether like if you go over it if you wouldn't have done that yeah I probably then would have. you can we can rewind oh if you want all right because if that wasn't something you had factored into your decision there then well, you I think are... they were like kind of right up against it or something right um, I think they were right next to them and kind yeah. of like right on the corner of it almost yeah. I think they were like right up. Right there? right there, yeah. Does that look good? That's okay. Um, in retrospect, then, I appreciate you. That's yeah. It's very gentlemanly. Um, I'm not going to activate them, but I will do uh, Sansa's. Okay. That sucks. Use really the swords sad. to smash them. Yeah, I was hoping to do something different, but yeah. Use the swords to smash them. Unless you've got anything that responds. Nope. All right. Yep, that's me then. Okay. I was hoping to be more judicious with her placement, but mm -hmm. that's hoping what I to get. charge and then get the swords after that. I was hoping. Yeah, I was hoping to charge, get the swords, have an opportunity to play one of these things, uh, bring it back in my hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so they've gone. Still got the archers. Yep. Still got these guys. Even though those berserkers get better with mm -hmm. fewer units, they just, they're still, still yeah. You don't, you don't want them too low. So I'll activate Ramsey. Mm -hmm. He is going to just kind of waddle up this way. <laughs> These guys are actually fairly fast. They're yeah. speed. I was gonna say they're not. They don't seem to be doing too bad. We'll just play a little bit safe. Yeah. I'm not sure how crazy I am about that. Okay. I'm just gonna go like that. Like those guys. <laughs> so I think. I think the most effective he's liable to be is now. So I'll activate him for a charge. Okay. It's going to have to be at least seven. So he's a, what, a five, right? Uh, yeah. Five, so uh, I think to hit this corner of me, mm -hmm. it's what, a hair over seven? Or what does it look like? Um, or is it right inside? Yeah, I would say, I would actually say it would have to be eight. Okay, so you just need a three up. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. Do it. Oh, sorry. I'll try to remember. No, that's, that's good. Okay. I think you'll have to be 50-50, which 
Let's see if that puts them over the bog or not. Um, I think it just clips the bog, mm -hmm. which makes his uh, makes him lose. So that gives him um, mm -hmm. hindering, which loses the rerolls. Okay. Um, I lose it for the charge bonus, but I can still use it for martial training, right? Yeah, you can still pop that order. Gotcha. Yeah. So you'd use yeah, you lose your charge bonus, but you can pop martial training. Yeah. Um, well, I'm already using highest attack die value. That's not going to be too much of an issue. Um, hold the line doesn't work because that's only when I activated. Yep. Stand your ground doesn't do anything. So, yep, I'm just going to pop martial training. Okay. Um, vulnerable. All right. Okay, so this is seven at four. And I think that's about it. So two, four, six, seven. Um, that is three grits. There's no precision or anything. They don't have any attack keywords right now? Um, the captain just gives a martial training, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I can re-roll. Yeah, 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 you <laughs> yeah. That was the whole point behind popping that. Uh, there right, we go, much better. better. Six. Six. All right, six, and I am on fives. So I save four, pretty good, but I got a vulnerable token, which I assume you're going to want to use. Yep. So just one. So they take five. So I go down to here. And then I take a panic test on mm -hmm. a seven. You're not vicious or anything right now, right? No. Okay, so they're a seven. Uh, no, they fail did it. For three more? No, you, you just. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I looked at the X, and for some reason, I thought <laughs> I, 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 in my mind no. it was a five. You know, I looked, I was yeah. making it look like that in my mind. No, okay. no, I'm with you. Okay, so they're good. No, you're good. Just got to do some housekeeping here. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. So that's them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do a start of any turn. I'm going to have Theon screech mm -hmm. and panic these guys. Gotcha. So they're panicked. Uh, and then we're going to see if he drops dead. Nope. nope. Lives to scream another day. And I think I'm going to activate these guys here. Gotcha. Um, are they within the... Yes, they are. So taunt. Taunt. Yep. Okay. So, um, all right. So they don't get to do their. This is this just overrides uh, basically when they yep. activate, right? If yep. that enemy could could attack or charge the targeted unit and declares any action other than attack. Okay. So they will attack then. Mm -hmm. So um, so they have a ranged attack. So they. Oh will yeah. Attack. God damn it. You're right. You want to? You can take it back. No, no, I was no, no, shoot no, no you it's anyway. fine. You can take it back. Oh, I was okay. going to shoot you anyway. Gotcha. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot you and charge, mm -hmm. try to charge you anyway. Sure. Even though it's going to be a long bomb, but that's all right. Um, I was hoping that taunt would, would override the the charge. And uh, it's like the people that designed this game knew what they were doing. <laughs> okay, so four four dice on threes, no rerolls. So three, wow. three out of four, and then you become vulnerable when they shoot you. Um, I'll let you use your, your tokens for... I uh, am vulnerable. I've got a lot of issues. Um, so these guys save on fours. Uh, it's right. two. two. I'll leave the vulnerable, so just take oh, the one. Okay. Uh, and before I forget, I need to panic my panic test my own guys, because I shot into a combat. Oh, uh, yeah. you'll, you'll take a panic too, but... Uh, mm -hmm. All right, I pass. So my guys okay. are good. Do I? Yeah, you take a panic because I. Oh, I need a, to take a panic test. Yeah, you take a panic right. test. Gotcha. And uh, he has intimidating presence, so you'll be a minus one. So oh, then I lost it then. Because those spearmen. I think they're probably are at six, six, right? Ups. Yeah, so they're yeah. a seven up now. So, yep, um, they yeah, take and two. you'll take a plus, plus one wound from intimidating presence also. Oh, wow. All right, and then these guys are going to go uh, balls out here. Try to charge in. So they're a they're a six speed. I don't think I can really get any closer from 
doing that. Yeah. So they're a six, so they need a, uh, a one, two, three, four. So they need a four to get in. Mm -hmm. This guy will give them, um, he will give them charge rerolls. So if they fail the first mm -hmm. charge, they can reroll. So I need a four. You got it? All right. They won't get their, uh, they won't get re their rerolls because they're going through the, the mud. Log. Yeah. Uh, and they are six dice. Um, here you go. Karstark Retribution. Okay. Before uh, if this is targeted a House Karstark unit, attach this card to that enemy until the end of the game. Otherwise, attach it to the end to the end of the round. While attached each time this unit completes an attack, they become vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Each time a rank from this unit is destroyed, one unit engaged with it restores two wounds. Okay. So each time a rank in this unit is destroyed, right? Yep. Okay. That's right. how I read it. Yeah. Okay, so they take that and then mm -hmm. they become vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, each time it completes an attack, uh, the attack isn't complete, but we'll just, just yeah. so I don't forget. Just mm -hmm. put it on there now. Uh, so six dice on six or on threes with no rerolls, mm -hmm. uh, but I do have precision from. Yeah. That. So six are autos? Yeah, six are auto wounds. All right, so one auto and four hits. Alrighty. The and uh, they are vicious. So. Okay. So that is that has to do with their. Uh, That's yeah, minus two of their morale, gotcha. and then since you're engaged with uh, Ramsey, you're also uh, minus one because. Oh, okay. So it's press, minus so three. Minus all three. Okay. All right. So it's two. two. Do you want to pop? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pop it. Okay. Pop the vulnerable. All right. So. All right, still okay. good. Still two there, but the yes, yeah, so you take one from precision and then two from from that. All right, and then uh, minus three net to uh, morale. Gotcha. So that brings their morale to nine. Okay. No problem. <laughs> There's a three for you. And then it'll be a plus one wound also from uh, Oh, wow. Ramsey. Right. Yeah, I thought those guys didn't run long for this world, but I didn't think they were that short. Yeah, the Karstark Spearmen, they're, they're mm -hmm. like an interesting unit, but they're not like, they don't have too much like tanky tech, no. you know? They, they want to be engaged with something because of hold the line, but they can't really take like a bunch of abuse. No, no. Um, so they're kind of a weird... Kind of a well, weird they unit. don't, they, they're vulnerable to... Uh, to concentrated, you know, mm -hmm. concentrated yeah. attention. I mean, I suppose everybody is, but. Mm -hmm. So to me, to me, happy birthday to me. Let's do. Um, the plus side is these guys are about to get plus one to hit. I am going to get hit by those guys, but I don't see I don't see that as being Okay. Um activate these guys for a charge. Good. All right. Then I don't they are yeah, just no ones. There we go. Uh, there's no shenanigans with them. Okay. Um, uh, so they should just be at seven. And you'll, uh, you'll take a panic test first because they have the horrific visage. visage. Yep. So it'll be a panic test at a minus three since I have three ranks. Mm -hmm. So that is five, six, seven, eight. Good to go. Wow. All right. Four, six, seven on fours with the re rolls. Uh, re roll this one. No, good. Okay, so six. six. All right, six on threes. All right, do they have sundering? I don't believe so. I thought they did. Uh, they have. Nope, 
just plus one to hit for each destroyed unit, and oh, they get minus one wound for failing panic tests. Okay. All right. So uh, six on threes. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Top dice. All right, so take two. Mm -hmm. And the morale isn't anything to write home about, so they may just mm -hmm. totally flee in fear here. <laughs> um, you're not some, you're not vicious yet. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're not vicious, so just a six up. Mm -hmm. You're All good. Right, you're good. All right, and I think uh, you have... I still have these guys it. to go. Yep. Uh, I'm going to do a start of any turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Cruel Methods. Mm -hmm. So this is target one combat unit. You may expend one panic token from that unit if you do choose two. The enemy becomes vulnerable, becomes panicked, or a friendly infantry unit in long range restores two wounds that can be selected multiple times. So I'm going to, I'm going to burn their panic token and heal mm -hmm. four back to these guys here. Okay. Okay. So the real question... And then I've just got these dudes. So I think what they're going to do is shift and shoot. Mm -hmm. So they're going to activate. It's the last unit I've got. They're going to activate. They're going to shift two. So they're going to shift up two. And that should put me in long range of these guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't need line of sight or... Yep. Uh, volley? Yes, they're ruthless volley. Um, Shoot into them, and let's see what I want to give them. So I get to pick one of these uh, from from the Sour Allen guy. Cripplo Sundering, or make them panicked. I think I'll give them Sundering, just so mm -hmm. that you'll save on a six up. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll, these guys will automatically take one wound. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, so six on threes, and I have rerolls and precision. Okay, three, re-roll. Okay, so one auto and then five, five wounds, or five hits. Uh, five hits on sixes? Yep. Well, one. All right. Four. And these guys just get meaner when they lose ranks, <laughs> right? Yep. They hit harder. Uh, and then and just a normal panic test, uh, not vicious or anything. Okay, so on fives. Which, Ouch. no. <laughs> Yikes. Well, unyielding will help you a little bit, right? Uh, take uh, one fewer. One fewer, yeah, yeah. so you'll be good call. two. Thanks. And then I take a panic test for shooting into my own melee uh, on a six. Just made it. Yeah. These guys are doing pretty good mm -hmm. on their panic so far. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Okay, uh, I'm activated out. Yep, me too. All right. Basically so we go from one to two. All right. Reset. Okay. okay. So you are first player in yep. this round. Uh, draw up. Actually, I'm going to discard oh, yeah. I'm this one. I'm going to discard some stuff. Draw up. I am going to discard I'm going to discard a taunt. Mm -hmm. um, I still have three cards in my hand, so I'm just going to hand them. Alright, let's do this one. Okay. Um, are you already? Yeah, you're already using your highest attack die value. I'm going to use Winter's Might with them, so that should give them Sundering. Okay. And they can reroll, but I think they can already reroll with Martial Training. Yeah. So that's seven. So do you want to seven. just hang on to it? Well, I guess they'll still have Sundering. Yeah. But it depends on who you're attacking. Are you attacking? Attacking these guys. Okay, so Sundering won't matter for them because they're already at six. Oh. Yeah, so they're already okay. at six up. So I think I don't think that gives you any benefit then. No, I no, no. To it. You can't worsen it beyond a six up. No. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, then I'll go ahead and do. Um, 
Then I'll go ahead and do Northern Ferocity. Okay, so that's Vicious, right? Vicious and, and a minus two to your, uh, or plus two wounds to your... Uh, panic, uh, uh, panic failure, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is seven on fours with rerolls. The most dangerous thing in the game almost is a Stark unit with the initiative and one rank remaining. <laughs> oh, no, no good. So that five. is five coming okay. at you. Okay. But no precision or anything. All right, so five on sixes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I take five. Mm -hmm. And I'll take down to here. He'll restore two wounds. And uh, you're vicious, so I go from a five to a um, seven. Good job. Badass. I'll activate Tybalt. Mm -hmm. I'll throw him over here on the sword. On the swords. And. Oh! Hmm. Oh, never mind. I just saw they were weakened, but they failed all their dice anyway. Oh, yeah, these guys? Yeah. 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 Um. Oh, and uh, these guys have hold the line. Did you, you could have yeah, popped that? Yeah, that's only if they're engaged with one enemy. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. Um, but it was target one enemy engaged with this unit. It suffers one hit plus one hit for each of its. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. sorry. You wanna yeah, let's pop that, pop that against okay. them. Okay, so sixes. Yep. All right, so two more. Yeah. All right, and... Taking the swords mm -hmm. and so they're already activated, but you could have an assault orders in there to finish them off. So I don't want any of that. Um, so I'll do a start of any turn. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have him screech again. Okay. So he'll make them panicked again. Gotcha. And then I'll pop or I'll see if he dies. Nope. All right, not this time. Um, and then I'll have these guys attack the uh, spearmen. Spearmen. So the okay. cutthroats will attack the spearmen. Okay. And then I'm going to play our blades are sharp. So this is when a friendly unit is performing a melee attack. Mm -hmm. Before rolling attack dice, the attack gains precision. And if the defender is panicked, this attack may reroll any attack dice. Gotcha. So um, they'll be mm -hmm. they'll have seven attacking with rerolls mm -hmm. and precision. On threes. It's, uh, a few misses, so mm -hmm. four hits. Okay, so one auto. All right. And six hits. All right, so. That is six on fours. Uh, he went mightily, but nope, not enough. Okay. Roll for Deadly Demise. There you go. And then that was a marked target, yep. so what do they get? They get um, so you should get two for that. Yeah, gain, so gain two victory points when a marked enemy unit is destroyed. So it's two and then plus one from it being just a normal, uh, mm -hmm. normal kill. Okay. Um, and these guys get a surge fourth. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know if I can clear this... Uh, Palisade. Oh, that's why. That's why you look weird. You're one of my test models. Okay. Um, I have a start of, of any turn mm -hmm. if uh, if you don't. Um, Since you're active player. I do have a start of any turn. Okay. But I'm not sure it'll help. Nope, go for it. Let's see what okay. you got. I am going to pop a Tibble token. Mm -hmm. 
So Tybalt is going to select, he'll select the crown zone. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, during, actually, I can't pop it yet because you haven't, it's only if you activate an, an NC. Yes, yeah, so you haven't done that yet. So disregard. But if you activate an NCU, you know what I want to do now. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't go there. Yeah, if you don't, if you go there, I get to make one of your units vulnerable. If you don't go there, then after you resolve the mm -hmm. NCU effect, then he just jumps over there. Gotcha. But technically, it hasn't happened yet. Well, these guys now. Oh, yeah, have, they get an order on them. Yeah. So they use their highest attack valet, and while I control the swords, they gain plus one to hit. But I don't control the swords, alas. All right. Um, these guys, because I don't think they're long for this world either. We're going to do Winter's Might on them. Okay. They'll gain Sundering, and uh, that's about it. So they this. get their highest attack die value is what, like a nine, it, I think. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it's pretty beefy. Um, like or... Yeah, sorry, nine. Nine. Okay. So yeah, so that's nine on fours. Nine. Wait, no, excuse me, that's on nine on threes, threes now, because right? they gain plus one to yep. hit. So nine, and then this gives you sundering. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it because you don't have the other conditions. Okay, so nine, nine dice with sundering on threes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, first, you'll take a horrific oh. visage. Mm -hmm. So it'll be at a minus three. Mm -hmm. So that puts me at eight. five, six, seven, eight. God darn. Yeah. But you only take one, right? Because oh, of right. unyielding. Okay. All right, so nine dice on threes with sundering. Uh, no re rolls. That's. Five. Five, okay. So five dice. Sundering takes me to a four up. Mm -hmm. Oof. Not a one. So they go down to here. Mm -hmm. And then they're not vicious right now, right? Mm, uh, I think. That's only uh, nope. North. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a different one. No, that's the Car Stark one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they're a six. They'll mm -hmm. take three more. So they're down to one guy. Woo! Like I said, <laughs> the most dangerous time for uh, to be against the Stark is when they're down on their luck, huh? <laughs> All right. You know, I'm gonna YOLO it. I'm gonna trust the. <laughs> Just trust the completely irresponsible voice in my head. I'm going to activate these guys. Go for it. And they're going to attack. Mm -hmm. They're going to move themselves over this way. Okay. And they have nothing to help them other than their four dice <laughs> and on a four plus. So four dice on a four plus. They have Sundering and Vicious. That's about all they got going for them. <laughs> nothing. Wow. So, okay. big whiff. Sansa? Okay, now I'll you use... Do uh, thing? Yeah, I'll put Tybalt. Okay. Uh, I'll put him on... Put him on, put him on crown. crown, yeah. Okay. Um, if I take it, you put a vulnerable token. Mm -hmm. If I don't take it, what happens? If you don't take it, then Tybalt gets to jump off of here after you... Like, whatever, let's say you take the bag. Yeah. After you resolve that, then Tybalt jumps over there and then... Crown zaps something. Okay. All right, I'll still do this. Okay. I'll use her once a game, not her ability. Uh, for. Uh, do I want Northern Ferocity or Taunt? I think uh, it's at this point, Northern Ferocity is what I want. I am. These guys, they are. That was the, was her once per game, was it a zone replace? She has replace? a once per or game, is it a, uh, uh, once per game when Sansa activates, you may return one tactics card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. Each time Sansa claims a zone, you may replace that zone's effect with return one tactics card. Okay. So, it's like one's like kind of for free. Yeah. A two for. So, I think you guys are kind of, I had a, 
buddy back home in Chicago. He played yeah. Tau. It was a lot of fun. But, uh, that's it. I've actually never played 40K or any uh, Any of its Warhammer. variants? Yeah. That is so weird. <laughs> you're into mini wargaming yeah. to the point where you're making battle reports. Mm -hmm. and it's like... Well, I only got into mini wargaming like, during COVID. Yeah, and, me too. Uh, that was my first Absolutely. introduction to it. And I, oh, yeah. I started playing Star Wars Legion. Mm -hmm. And I, I got into that just because I, I liked the minis and I felt like painting stuff. And yeah. I used to I used to paint like uh, armor models, you know, just mm -hmm. like, you know, German tanks and mm -hmm. Germans and like all that stuff for, you know, teenage years and 20s. Yeah. And I picked it back up again in my 30s. And oh, it's cool. been years since, two years Are since then. Are you sure you, you don't want to give like Team Yankee a try? That feels like such a natural fit. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it, but it kind of violates my rule of being actively engaged in one thing. Because I get, when I get involved in a game, I kind of tend to like it's more of a really, guideline than a rule. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I did get into I did buy a bunch of bolt action stuff, so yeah. I I have bolt action. Some of the tanks that I painted mm -hmm. previously, I could use in bolt action because they're the similar similar scale. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is really only my second war game. Um, That's cool. I have some other like single player like Warhammer Quest games that I've gotcha. been painting and stuff, but I have never played 40k or Age of Sigmar. If you got the right table to teach, it's a ton of fun. But I, I love my hobby, but there's also a lot of sweaty tryhards. Yeah, you know, there's that that's a turn off. A also, just the, the expense. I don't I don't like the cost of it at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to like like I said. Once I get into something, I get really into it, and I don't mm -hmm. want to go down that rabbit hole because there's just I like I value my marriage too much to borrow know, someone's I know it. army and <laughs> just so that you have a common touchstone with the people around you. That's it. Yeah, I'm, so far I'm, I've resisted I, <laughs> by focusing all of my energy on one thing at a time. So you we'll got see, it. We'll see if that if that keeps going. But um, well, the action's to you. Okay, so you moved. Uh, you moved I them. moved. Didn't take it. So okay, so he hops over here. Make somebody he, do a uh, panic test. Yeah. So nobody's he'll, got a token. So yeah, and I can't kill them with the panic test. Um, I could zap them. You know, let's just go. Let's just go for these guys. Gotcha. Just to see if I can get lucky. So uh, they'll be at a minus one. So six up. Six up. Oh. All right. Let's. All right. Try with the actual three. All right, so uh, they take zero, actually, because they have unyielding, right? They have minus one wound, it's right? Minus one wound per destroyed rank. Oh, wow. So All right, cool. Thank you for reading my uh, cards for me. <laughs> All right, so they're good from that. Mm -hmm. uh, now it is back to me. Yep. And I think since the sword is open, I need to take it again. Otherwise... Uh, Catlin's going to snag it, so mm -hmm. I'll take Roos, and uh, he'll pop one of his other orders. So I already used one of them, I believe. So uh, I'll pop his second out of three orders, and I'll panic panic these guys. Yep. So I'll give them a panic token. Mm -hmm. He's going to jump on the sword. And then we're going to recock this cocked up attack <laughs> from these guys and gotcha. have them swing again. So, so it's uh, four on fours? Four on fours right. with Sundering and Vicious. There you go. All right, we got two. All right. Uh, so Sundering will bring them to... I think they're five up, right? So six. Yeah, so sixes. Six. Nothing. All right. So two. two. And then Vicious will take them down to a seven. Yes. Not... <sighs> well, wait. But. What? So... You take Five. one. I right, take, take one. one. Yeah, yeah. take one. Okay. So they're not totally done. No, but. Uh... And I have a start of any turn uh, if you don't. I'm just debating whether or not to throw him under the bus because I don't see him survive. Uh, you know, even with Caitlyn, I don't see him surviving. Well, he's he's activated, right? He's activated, oh, but, but the idea is I, I put or... Caitlyn on him, heal him for three. He might be able to shrug mm -hmm. one more. Yeah. Maybe. That's well, yeah, so he's already activated and swords is taken, but I could shoot him. Yeah. But then at the same time, if I shoot him, unless I heal this guy, he's going to auto die because yeah. they take one wound automatically. Well, so. yeah, what I'm saying is, like, well, no, you don't, 
Unless you've got cards that give you heals, because you can't mm -hmm. get back to the bags yep. just yet. So these guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. So. So you're gonna activate them. You're gonna activate okay. them for. I have, a, I have a start of any turn effect. What you do? Uh, card. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my second cruel methods. So mm -hmm. That's what I did to heal these guys earlier. Sure. So I'm gonna burn that panic token to give four back to these guys. Gotcha. To the black card. I thought so. I didn't, but. Nasty. To yeah, have I've heard you have. To, yeah, I heard it. It's like toxic in your house, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's yep, no good. good. It's Jack Dice, but yeah, it's, I'm, yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah, so they're definitely good. All right, so they're weakened, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but we've got um, Northern Ferocity. Um, and does this see one complete? So here? these guys will become weakened. Um, and uh, this attack gains vicious. Uh, and I don't control the sword, so that's not going to matter much. So instead, what we're just going to get, or if I'm understanding this correctly, we're going to get uh, Furious Charge, doesn't matter, they're already vulnerable, or no, they're vulnerable now because of Furious Charge. Okay. Um, Perseverance and Valor is not going to matter, uh, Superior Numbers isn't going to matter, uh, but they do get Precision. So we're looking at mm -hmm. six, or excuse me, seven on fours with rerolls and Precision. Okay. Two, four, six, seven. Math is hard. Oop. That's a one. And that's one auto wound. Ouch. Just, those guys just didn't want to work. Yep. So one dies. One and auto three. wound, and then three uh, with. Oh, they're weakened. Do you want me to reroll? Oh, um. Yeah, let's go ahead. So uh, I'll put the one auto wound back, and you can reroll all of them. At the risk of me precisioning for getting four so, precisions So it's four. Yeah, it's four. Right. Nope. Okay. That was so, even better for you. Okay. So that's Just two. Two. two uh, they don't have Sundering or anything, right? Uh, they... Nope, they've got Vicious. Okay. Um, so two on fives. Nope. All right, none. I take two wounds, mm -hmm. and then I, uh, you said they have Vicious? Yep. All right, so I go from a seven to, oh, um, yeah, I failed both of them, okay. Mm -hmm. So no uh, vulnerable tokens. So I go from a seven to a nine. Nope. All right, take three. Mm -hmm. All righty. And that's that. Okay. All right, I am going to activate uh, Ramsey over here, and he's going to swing back. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm going to move this way. Yep. Like that. He's going to activate, and then uh, just going to swing. So he's on two ranks, mm -hmm. and I've already popped his thing. I think I screeched at the uh, mm -hmm. spearman earlier, so yep. that's nothing. So he's on six, six dice, and he's weakened. So six on threes. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, weaken it. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so four, four with um, vicious and intimidating presence from Ramsey. Oh, what does that do? That's uh, minus one to your. Your morale and a plus one wound. So you go from uh, you go minus three basically and plus one wound. Okay. So they are uh, saving on fours. So that's four on fours. Wow. Only one. All right. So it's three plus another one. Three plus uh, no. Uh, now you take a panic test and okay. it's a plus one wound if you fail the panic test. Gotcha. Uh, they are sixes. I have not made one. 
<laughs> yeah, I think you have failed almost every. I have failed panic every test. panic test. And I have I'm the not, worst morale of the two. I ones. am not like I'm still a little butt hurt at those guys because I lost uh, I lost my stat champions of the stag in the last game by failing uh -huh. five panic tests in a row. Like, That's rough. I got home and really shittily like booted up our software to figure out what were the odds of that even <laughs> happening. Okay. Um, they're done. All right, that was. Yep. Or they're done, and then I just finished that, so yeah, it's back so, to you. Yeah, these guys. All right, so I'm going to do a swift reposition okay. on these guys. I'm going to do a three inch maneuver because I own the. Mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter. I won't be able to. I'll just have to charge into these guys just to just to uh, tie them up. Mm. So, so you activate no one. Charge. Yep. Okay. So yeah, where's my activation tokens at? Oh, right there. I'm gonna move them in like this. They won't get their bonuses. Right, and uh, they'll take a panic test. Oh, a wait a second. Um, Commander activated. Oh, yeah. Can you I throw mark a marker him? Yeah. on him? You can mark, uh, I think he was, what, like over here? Yeah, so he was think, well within Yeah, he 12. was in 12 of him yeah. for sure. Um, here, I'll, I'll put a victory token on him. Gotcha. Yep, gotcha. All righty. Um... Okay. Let's see here. So you're going to have crit. Uh, they're not going to get superior numbers. Fueled by slaughter is not going to matter for them. Not really. It's just. Uh, it's just going to be seven on fours. No re rolls. Okay. Car Stark uh, doesn't give him anything right now? Crits. That's it. Okay. Yeah, Winter's Bite just gives him crits at the moment. Well, there's uh, one. Yep. So, that's it. So, okay, that's... So, two, four? Yep. Um, and they'll take a panic test oh. first. It won't affect their dice. Um, All right. Yeah, so we don't need to... Jesus yeah. Christ. All right, so that's three, and uh, since you went over the wall, they get fortified, so they go from a three to a two. Mm -hmm. There you right, go. So they got them. Uh, don't they take one for the? Oh, for the crit. That's right. Uh, yeah, they didn't take any wounds, so they won't mm -hmm. suffer. They gotcha. t count is automatically passing their uh, mm -hmm. panic test. Um, so, no, what does crit do again? Crit is uh, explodes, right? Yeah, so every crit is two hits. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. so you, yeah, you got two hits, a crit, mm -hmm. so that was uh, four. Gotcha. All right, cool. Do you, my friend? So activated. Uh, you just got, yeah, I'm activated you got, out. You just got Catlin, right? You haven't, yeah, uh, yeah, I've got Catlin. Okay, so uh, I'll activate, I'll activate these guys, mm -hmm. the, the Bowman, sure. and they're gonna fire over here. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just scoot up a little bit first, or uh, mm -hmm. actually, I think they'll. Let's see if I can shimmy this way and still be in range. So they go over like that. Narratively speaking, I love it when Great John is the last one there because yeah. he gets like massive re rolls and everything, mm -hmm. and he's got that unit advantage of like rolling nine dice, uh -huh. you know, plus two to hit. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Turns into like Superman. Uh, so, suffer a wound, and I'll give them, um, I'll just do Sundering again. So it's six dice with re-rolls, mm -hmm. and precision, um, on threes. All right, so that's four, four, four with Sundering. Four with Sundering, so that's going to bring him to sixes. Not a problem. Uh, oh, almost. almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let me uh, panic test these guys before I search mm -hmm. fourth. So they're on a six. Mm -hmm. They fail, so they take 
two. Mm -hmm. So they took three from that. And then they'll surge fourth. I think they're going to actually surge backwards. So mark where they are. Go. Well, it makes the decision of uh, who receives the benefit of Catherine's largesse a little bit easier. <laughs> I want to stay in line of sight of these guys in case I want to charge them later. All right, mm -hmm. uh, so they just moved over there, and yep. I think that was worth. Uh, they weren't a marked unit, so they're worth yeah. one, I believe. And my guy was marked, though. Oh, so if a marked unit kills? Each time a friendly marked unit destroys an enemy unit, gain one victory point. So that would gotcha. be, be two. Um, so that was that was them. Now I think it's back to you, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just Caitlin. Yeah. Caitlin, we'll do this right here. Three. So you're going to attack from the side there. That's going to lock him in place. It's going to lock his facing, so that sucks. Because if I understand correctly, they can only attack what they're facing. They can attack anything that's engaged with them. Oh, really? So, yeah, if, if, they're, if I get you in the flank, you can still attack me, even oh. if you're not looking at them. Oh, all right. Hmm. What rules have I been playing by? So I've still got him, him to go. Well, I'll just attack with them. I'll activate him, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll mark him again with another point. I think this was on. Yeah. That was on him, right? And we used the. I think we used the weekend, right? So I'll uh, mark him with another point, and then see if he can shift over without getting on that wall. I think that just clips the wall, so just stay like that. Uh, and then he'll just swing. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, six dice on fours. No rerolls. Vicious. Uh, too bad I didn't have uh, precision there. <laughs> but five. So five on fours. Uh, it's three, it's two. Get it. And Vicious brings them to sevens. Anything? No. Wow. You just have the, just the worst luck today. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate the opportunity to blame my dice, <laughs> and not the list building or anything. <laughs> OK, well, um, it's back to you. I'm activated out. OK. Uh, yeah, that was their activation, mm -hmm. uh, and I just have the dogs. And I'm honestly a little unsure of what to do with these guys. Did I forget to uh, fuel by slaughter these guys? I think you did. I think I did. I can't remember how many. You oh. healed three, right? I healed three, so healed they were three, down so to two. Been, so it would have been two wounds that I would yeah, have Yeah, so back, you right? would have been, Do you mind would have been down to their there? second rank. Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. So yeah, it would have been uh, one wound and then plus one for the destroyed rank, so it would have yeah. been two. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I'll, I'll activate him because... Mm -hmm. I have to. I think it's the last thing I've got. So I'll activate the dogs and um, yeah, they'll shift two inches this way. And then they're just going to shoot into here. They can't charge into here because that impassable terrain is in the way. Mm -hmm. So they're just going to shoot with their four dice. That's um, all they're going to do. 
So two, four, four dice on threes, and uh, you become vulnerable after the attack. Mm -hmm. So just two, two, uh, and so that's two on fours. Of course. And and uh, it'll be yeah, an intimidating presence will bring it down to one and plus one wound. Okay, so that's uh, sixes. There we go. All right. And you become vulnerable after their attack. Yes. And they're not going to, I'm not going to use their order to make them charge, so they're mm -hmm. just going to, it's just going to be there for them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, that is all I have. All right. And that's, okay. So it's back to it. All right, so round three. Uh-huh. First player goes back to me. And now you have another opportunity to outflank. Yeah, the outflank's going to come out. Okay. Um, I believe that's before anything else happens. Yep. Pop that. Mm -hmm. So you run them up your butt. And these guys. I think I'm going to have to put them up here this way. So I think it's six inches away. Yeah, it's just fully within short mm -hmm. of a table inch. Oh, fully within short. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. And six inches away from one of you guys, short from. You can be right up next to me. You just have to be six inches from the. Oh. Within six inches of a table edge. Okay. Actually, with these guys, they've got a. Might as well. Right there is fine. I mean, they got okay. pre-move maneuver. Yeah, they have a maneuver. Yeah. yeah. All right. Take Actually, these I'll guys off of here. Do it like that, just so I can. Oh, they're already vulnerable. Doesn't matter. Mm. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. All right, let's do it. Oh, I'm gonna discard some cards. I'm gonna. Um, Oh, draw three. So I'll uh, draw. Yeah, discard taunt, draw three. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do a start of any round. A start of round? Yeah. Okay, I don't have any start of round, so. Go uh, for it. Need for vengeance. Um, uh, target one friendly combat unit. That combat unit performs one attack action. If this targets a house Karstark unit, it gains plus one to hit. After the complete of that attack, your opponent may activate one NCU. Okay. So. Um, these guys against them. So that was going to be um, first things first. They'll get perseverance and valor. Bring back a unit. Bring back a hit. Uh, they don't get anything else. It looks like. Nope. So it's just going to be five. With fours on precision. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, it has start of any turn, but that'll I think that'll come after this because okay. this is the start of round, and then okay. after this is resolved, then it's my start of turn. So yeah, yeah. you're good. You're good. Sorry. Yeah. All right. I mean, so um, I think that's all. Three. That all hits, right? Because don't you get plus one to hit from your thing? Yep. Oh, so, yeah, that all yeah, hits. So that all hits. Yep. So, uh, yeah. 
So five, right? Yep. So five, five. I'm on, um, you don't have Sundering, right? I do not. Do you make me weakened, right? Is it? You're already weakened. Oh, this is we vulnerable. We never expended that token. That was, yeah, that's vulnerable. Weakened is the... Oh, is all that right. One. Right on, yes. Um, so yeah, weakened, mm -hmm. five, no Sundering. So just five on five, so it's mm -hmm. a vulnerable token. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Uh, so, yep, five. So About time. all of them <laughs> down to there. And then a panic... On, you're not vicious right now? Right? I don't or? believe so, no. Okay. Uh, so, um, go from, no, I'm just a seven. Yeah, just normal seven. And take two more. So Theon is officially dead. No more shrieking. <laughs> I wish he would have died Died uh, doing what he loved best. Crying, <laughs> crying for his life, but it's not in the cards. All right. All right, and those are still there. Yep. Uh, what do we have here? All right. And you can activate a uh, okay. MCU if yeah. you like. So you can take the bags and remove a token if you want. I could, or I can do something else. So I'll still get. Um, so I I think this is still before start of any turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, still the, before start of any turn. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'll do is I will. Activate Roos. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll activate Roos. He's going to use his last token to give a panic token to these guys. Gotcha. And he's going to jump on the maneuver zone. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to maneuver these guys. So these guys are going to just spin. Um, let's see if I can, let's see if I can get on the flank, get a flank shot on these guys. On my horses? Oh yeah. So go up to here. I think I'll still be on the bog. So I go like this. Yeah, I think you're off the bog. Yeah, yeah I'm just off the bog and still mm -hmm. just on the map. Um, so that is going to be... Yeah, so that'll be their, my free NCU activation. Yep. And then... And now it's your Now it's my start actual of start of round, yeah. or my start of, start of my turn, start, mm -hmm. of, start of turn. So um, now I am going to play a start of any turn. So it's Harsh Punishments. Mm -hmm. which is target one friendly combat unit and attach this card to them until the end of the game. They become panicked, like my friendly unit becomes mm -hmm. panicked. While this is attached, the unit's melee attacks always roll their highest attack die value and gain sundering. Each time this unit fails a panic test, it suffers plus one wound. Gotcha. Um, so I'm going to put this... I am tempted to put it on them, but I know mm -hmm. they are about to die if I don't... If I don't attack with them, they're going to die. Um, mm -hmm. Then the question is, do I attack with them? Um, I'll put it on these, on the dogs. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to panic them. Mm -hmm. And they'll always roll highest attack die value in melee mm -hmm. um, and have sundering. Uh, so that's my start of any mm -hmm. turn. And then I am going to uh, take Tybalt as my, now it's my actual activation. Mm -hmm. So yep. I'll, I'll take Tybalt. I'm going to put him on the sword, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to actually have these guys shoot. So what I want to try to do is lock these guys down so mm -hmm. they can't get the charge on me. That's my They have swift retreat, so you know. Okay, so they'll it's just... It's an order that allows them, after you complete right, an attack can action, they can, they can dip. Mm. Starks are nothing if not mobile. That's true. Well, I wish I would have read that. That would have changed a little bit. I'm something. sorry. I no, it's just my, it's my fault. Uh, um, I 
And do you want to walk that back? No, no, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with it. So I'm gonna take the swords, and I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have him shoot into these guys. The sides. Yep. So they'll shoot into your flank, and four, uh, six. Okay, so that's five. That sucks. So they're they're a four plus currently, right? To save armor wise. Yeah. Okay. And they're already vulnerable, so yeah. they'll just keep their vulnerable token. Um, Alright, so uh, four dice. The range yep. attack is four dice mm -hmm. on threes. And got all of them hit. Four. So four on fives. <sighs> One. There we go. All right, and then and uh, panic on a minus one. So, so he's on sevens. Finally wow. saved one. All right. And then I'm going to pop their charging volley mm -hmm. ability, so they'll charge. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play Rush of Aggression. Mm -hmm. So this is the automatic count is rolling at six. Mm -hmm. And they get crit below. All right. And uh, they gain a vulnerable if it's not Steel Shanks, but they're already vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So they'll go like mm -hmm. so, and um, then you become panicked from, from mm -hmm. this guy when he has a success, successful charge. Mm -hmm. Panics. So, and two, three, four, five, six. So right now they have uh, precision yep. and sundering from mm -hmm. this here. Gotcha. Um, so precision sundering, six dice. This was um, that go. was, oh, that was, I think uh, that's oh, yeah, theirs, yeah. This, this panics okay. them. Gotcha. Um, so six dice, precision, sundering, rerolls, and uh, vicious also. Okay. Wait, I rolled too many dice. Um, Four, five, six, seven. I thought you were rolling. No, I roll. I roll six dice. Oh. So I take one of the hits away. All right. Um, okay. So uh, one auto. Mm -hmm. And three hits. All right. So that's three hits. Uh, fives. Uh, and then it'll be sixes because of uh, the sundering. So they're sundering, oh. sundering in the flank. All right. So wow, three on sixes. One. So that's one more model. And pan, or, uh, panic test, they are sixes, so they're sevens, unless so, uh, there's something else. Seven, and they're vicious, so eight, nine. Four, five, six, nope. They take right. another one. I'll, uh, I'll have them re-roll the panic, or oh. the uh, D3. D3? You see if they can get more. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Fear Keeps a Man Alive. Mm-hmm. It's not a very big heal right now, but basically when you fail a panic test, I take I can restore a wound. Oh, um, every for, little bit restore helps. Restore a wound for however many wounds I suffered. I'm just going to give mm -hmm. these guys one more. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to pop their swift, swift retreat. retreat. Okay. Um, Their movement plus die, movement right? plus that, yeah. yeah. So, so there, right. there should be six, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Yep. So yep. You can go nine. So nine. <laughs> My question is, can I? Will I be able to? Be on the side there. Well, you can still you still get a maneuver when you actually activate. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, I don't want to clip this. Bog, yeah, the bog. You know? Yeah. I think uh, so. The halfway mark mm -hmm. for these guys is it's like right there. I think so. I think yeah. you should be good. All right. Good. If you're if you just go halves these like that way. So they are weakened now. Oh my guys. Yeah. They got all three tokens right now. Uh, 
Alrighty. So they're vulnerable, weakened, and pan. Yeah, they're a hat trick. That doesn't do anything for me. Alrighty. All right, I'm going to activate these guys. Um, we're going to do... Which one's the cavalry? Yeah. And I'm going to do... Oh, well, I don't think they can fail a charge. No, they won't fail it. They just could possibly roll a one and not get yeah. rerolls. That's about it. Well, don't underestimate me. Yeah. Uh, there we Good. Go. Go. Is that good hatches yeah, to think, you? Yeah, I think okay. even, even like that. Is All right. So let's good. do Winter is Coming. Uh, choose one if you control the horsey. Control both. You can choose both. Enemies successfully charged by this unit. Can it be the target of friendly orders or tactics this, car this turn? That might be handy. Or the attacker uses his highest attack die value, which I think I'm going to go with. Okay. So that will be seven on fours. And with all of that going for me, I sure hope I can do something with it. Uh, Rerolling these. So these three hit. All right, that's all of them. All right, so that's seven hits. There's no precision or anything like that. Do they get plus one hit or something, or you only roll six dice? Do they have? Uh, oh no, I didn't. Okay. I didn't roll the last die. Math is hard, I guess. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. So seven. Mm-hmm. All right, I need to roll amazingly twice <laughs> to save these guys. Oh. All right, so uh, seven dice on mm-hmm. sixes. Um, not bad, but yeah, it's, so that's enough. Unless you wanna, you wanna vulnerable those and yeah. I uh, need to fail two more. Ooh, close. <laughs> got to. So just got them. All um, right. That was what six. Yep, six. Yep. And they were a marked unit. So, so does you that get, do anything for me? I thought. Yeah. It gets so if. Uh, Gain two victory points when a marked enemy unit is destroyed. So gotcha. you get three points from that. All right. Uh, all righty. Okay. Um, right. now and then you get to surge forth. forth. Yep. This is yours. Oh, um, you destroyed two ranks. Okay, so, so I get to bring back. Uh, for each time a rank in this unit is destroyed, one unit engaged with it restores two wounds, so I'll restore four, four wounds. Yep. So that's one, two, three, and uh, this last one with two wounds. That. Okay. And there, you, that was their activation, right? Yes. Okay. Do I have their activation token on there? I do not. Let's solve that. My side of the board should be pretty easy to keep track of. <laughs> so I think I have to go with him because uh, he's not long for this world. So Ramsey is going to activate mm-hmm. and just swing with what he's got. So. Um, these guys, they haven't activated yet, so they, they get... Uh, hmm? No, they have not. Okay. So uh, you become vulnerable, which you already are, mm-hmm. and I can re-roll attack dice. So I get to re-roll the, these four dice here. Gotcha. So four dice on threes. And there you go. Good. They don't have any... Well, you have, I have a weekend token. You want to uh, spend the weekend token? Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Yeah, there we so, go. That's so two. One. So that's two... Um, they usually save on fours. Are there any shenanigans? Nope, no thundering or anything. All right. Uh, Want to pop that one? Uh, yeah, may as well. 
Oh. All right, still good. So he does take one. Take one. Pop this. Uh, Panic on a, so they're vicious and intimidating presence, so minus three. It's minus three, so these guys are on nines now. Never. All right. <laughs> All righty. And then uh, with, uh, what's it called, two by slaughter, he'll <laughs> heal three. Gotcha. Uh, one for each rank and then one just always. Gotcha. But good old Reek does not come back. Mm -hmm. He has sung his last song. Mm. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> okay. Right, back to you. Um, well... Caitlin right. is going to go here. She'll uh, give these guys her her sweetness. Mm -hmm. Heals three, removes a token. To you, sir. All right. Uh, I've got these three. Both man sees have already gone. I think I'm going to activate uh, Steel Shanks here in the Black Guard. Yep. And when he activates, I'll put another um, bounty token or whatever on him. So I'll replace that. And then he is going to swing. I have no cards to play. So it's just going to be. And then I think we. Yeah, I had, we had measured me shifting that way, and I touched, the, mm -hmm. I touched that. So we're not going to do that. So two, four, six uh, on fours with no rerolls or anything. Mm -hmm. All right, better than my last, the last time I swung with these guys. So uh, four. That's four. Uh, so that's four on fours. It doesn't look like I get anything that helps. Oh, that's uh, not too bad. Two. Yeah. Well, Get ready for my uh, patent pending. Crit fail, crit fail. Uh, and they're vicious, so it'll be minus two. So, s uh, eights. Well, I think you're good, right? Way. God dang. Yeah. All right. <laughs> way to come in clutch. <laughs> Guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put a... Activate mm -hmm. these guys. I'm going to put a point on them. Um, just attack. Uh, they are four. So they'll take a they have to take a panic test first. Okay. Uh, from the visage. Visage, yeah. All right. They're good. Um, so that's measly four, but they got crit blow, and can re-roll with plus one to hit. So four on threes with crit and plus one. Promoting these guys from oh. Uh, oh, okay. Cutthroats to Blackguard. Uh, so Cripplo, you said, right? Yep. So that's going to add and you one. got rerolls? Yep. There we go. So that's five? Okay. Five on, they don't have Sundering or anything? Nope. Okay. So five on threes? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're good. Okay. I don't have any vulnerable or anything. Oh! Well, you know what? Mm. I'm still going to get fueled by slaughter. Do, wait, do I get fueled by slaughter? Uh, it's if only the, you did not wound. suffer any wounds, yeah. so... They don't have perseverance. I'm not fueled or... by any... <laughs> nope, they don't get perseverance and valor. Okay. Well... <laughs> he hurt himself in his confusion. <laughs> Back to you, sir. All right, I've just got these two. Uh, I'm going to activate these guys. Mm-hmm. I'm tempted to charge in with the, with them yeah, there. I don't know why you wouldn't. I, yeah, I, I mean, like these guys can't really shoot anything else this round. Mm -hmm. you know, nothing else is in range. They've already activated. Yep, um, these guys haven't. But. Yeah, they still have They still have to activate, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I'll just, 
up with you. Yeah, the thing is, if I attack with them and I don't finish them off, then I have to attack in with them and then panic test my own guys twice. Like panic test both of them, both of them mm -hmm. and give each of them a wound from their ruthless volley. So that sounds like a good idea to yeah. me. <laughs> so he'll just be he'll play uh, play it safe, All and right. um, I'm gonna select sundering to take. Uh, so he'll take an auto wound. Mm -hmm. and they'll shoot. Uh, let me shift actually. They'll shift up two inches as far as they can go. All right, six dice on threes, mm -hmm. sundering and rerolls and precision. Um, I'm going to leave it, not tempt fate with the All precision right. rerolls. So, so um, that is just one auto and then five, five All hits. Right. So five on... Uh, with Sundering, so on fives then, I think? Yep. Five on fives. So I need, yeah, all right, this should, no problem. No, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got them. All right, uh, so that's three points and then four points for uh, mm -hmm. one extra for the other one. So that's nine points. You're at nine? Okay. Yeah. One more and that's just yeah. the game. Um, these guys, uh, they can't surge forth since they weren't the ones that attacked, but they can pivot mm -hmm. since the unit engagement mm -hmm. is no longer uh, with us. So they're going to just pivot that way like that. And back to you. Okay. okay um, these guys. Might as well go there. Attack. These guys become weakened. Okay. Um, they will get one for perseverance and valor. They have precision. They have superior numbers, so they will be able to reroll. Oh, I forgot to panic test these guys. Uh, oh, sorry. All right. Um, from shooting into combat. Gotcha. So uh, five up. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're good. You're good. So this is five on fours with precision and reroll. Wow. Good thing you got that reroll. Remember what we said before about using Baratheon dice when playing? <laughs> wow. wow. All right. They might what live, lesson did live we learn? to <laughs> fight another day. <laughs> but they could fail this and fail the panic test and die. But we'll yeah. See. Um, that okay. tracks with my luck tonight. <laughs> and uh, so they, nope. you're not sundering, right? Nope. Okay, so you want to use the vulnerable? Yep. All right, do it again. Ah, All right. Finally. So take All right. that one, and then panic on a, you're not vicious, right? Nope. Okay, so on a seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, All wow. Right. There you go, hey. you got him. <laughs> All righty. They worth anything? Just, uh, they weren't marked. No. Yeah, they're not marked, so they're just worth one. Alright. I don't see this really breaking my way too much anyway, unless... Unless I can do something with you. But I don't know. Back to you, sir. Okay. And uh, you just flipped them around? Yeah, I okay. just ro rotated the face. Okay. So I've just got these guys. Um, I think they're just going to kind of maneuver. Mm -hmm. So they're going to... They can't Stay really... out of the way of... Yeah, they'll just... Uh, yeah, they're just going to go this way. Actually, they'll... Uh, I'll jog them forth. I'll just march them. March that way. Go there. Okay. That is it for me. I think you just. Do you have an NCU left? Yeah, I just have Sansa. Okay. No, I'm just going to put her here and okay. let's me draw three. Yep. And, uh, throw a token.
Garbage. All right. That's it. Oh, you get to throw a token out at me. Oh, yeah. Um, well, let's see here. I'll put weakened on these guys. Okay. Do you mind if I put your points over here? Just, no, uh, go for, for it. Just so I can see them in the camera when I'm... No, not at all. Later. Okay. Go for it. So you put a, uh, <laughs> a weekend over here? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's the end of round three. Yep. Go to round four. You become first player again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to activate the Outriders. Good. Pre-activation maneuver. So just don't roll a just don't roll a one. All right, you want me to align yeah, it for you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, fifty-fifty, I assume, because they won't they won't fit. Yeah, hundred okay. percent. All righty. Um, um, you'll take the panic test mm -hmm. before you uh, attack. So um, they're panicked and weakened. Um, Um, and I'll just go ahead and make them vulnerable too. Okay. Are they panicked and weakened from you charging? They're panicked him? and weakened from uh, ambush. Enemy ambush. successfully okay. charged gotcha. in the flank or rear. Yep. Okay. And so, then uh, you're playing this to make them panic. Vulnerable also. as well. Uh, vulnerable. Yeah. Okay. And I'm taking a morale test. Yep. Panic on a minus three. Okay, so nine. Wow. All right. I think you're good. Something drop on your side? Or yeah. Something? One of these. Okay. One of the, these guys. All right, so. All right, that is going to be seven on fours with re rolls. don't mind, I'm going to swap out dice. <laughs> yeah, and just put those in the microwave when you get home. Wow. All right, so four. <laughs> um, any sundering or anything? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, just the uh, minus one of my armor from the flank, mm -hmm. so I go from a four, uh, three to a four. All right, so take uh, one. Weakened. Yep, vulnerable that. Vulnerable, yep. Yeah. So two, wait, uh, That's three. three. Yep, three. Yep. So that. So they go down a rank. Mm -hmm. And then a panic mm -hmm. on, uh, there are six, but mm -hmm. then there are five from Iron Resolve, and then a six again from mm -hmm. going from that way. Side. So uh, six. Which they passed? You want to? Uh, yeah, pop it. Okay, re -roll. Which, which ones? We roll the stuff? five. Okay. Never All mind. Right, so <laughs> Okay. Oh, I forgot to draw cards. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, three cards. But thankfully, none of these would have helped me here. All right. Uh, so that was them activating, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. All right, I'm going to activate Tybalt, and he is going to go on the sword, yep. and I'm going to attack with these bowmen here. Mm -hmm. So they will... I think they're just going to scoot two inches, they'll scoot as close as they can get to these guys, I think. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. So they'll scoot that way, mm -hmm. and then they're going to fire into into these guys into their uh, flank. Mm -hmm. And these guys will take an auto wound right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, their armor is uh, it's a four, right? Normally, they're four uh, the uh, yes four, four up okay. for the for the outriders. Okay. So that will put them in a five up. Um, I think I'll give them I'll take the give them a panic token option here. Okay. And um, six dice mm -hmm. on threes. I've got, I do have a weakened token. And let's see, where does where did this go? While controlling this objective, melee attacks against sundering. That was who is the sundering? Oh, it's these guys, I think, right? Mm -hmm. You marked. I think they were the marked ones, right? I'm trying to remember who the marked target was. These guys. It was them. Okay. No. Or was it the was it the no? Bomb? They were. I marked these guys and the the doggies. Okay, so these guys are marked. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so six dice, mm -hmm. six dice on threes, precision and rerolls. Okay, uh, reroll these two. Okay, so that's two autos, mm -hmm. four hits, and then I'll, uh, I'll do my panic test on, on these guys. Uh, actually, I think I do that after the attack is resolved, so I'll waste so it. Four hits on fives. Oh, sorry. Uh, one. So take three more. All right. So that's so that's five. Total of five. So yeah. that's two or no, that's one, mm -hmm. four, five. Okay. And then uh, oh wait, uh, I had a weekend token. Oh yeah. Reroll. Yeah. Those. Reroll everything. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is, I'm only saving one. Okay, so, so uh, auto uh, and then three. Yeah, all righty. So I had two before. So that would be I instead of five, that'd one. be four, right? Yeah. So the one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then panic on a minus one into the, okay. into the flank. Um, they're on a seven now. Snake eyes. What was that? How many wounds was that? Two? Uh, I thought it was one. Was oh, the panic wound? Was it yeah. just one? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, do you want me to? Yeah, that's, re -roll? What, that's what I'm debating. Um, yeah, I'll have you. I'll have you reroll the the D three. Gotcha. Okay, still, still one. one. Yeah. Um, uh, apologies. I'll leave them. Yeah, no, no worries. Leave the dice lay a little longer. And then I will play Price of Fear. So this mm -hmm. is when a. Enemy fails a panic test, target one friendly combat unit in long range of that enemy, they can perform a maneuver action. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the bowman maneuver. Okay. So they're gonna go like this. I think they're at five, right? Uh, so that was Tibbled off the sword. Mm -hmm. If you're, um, just let me know if you're going to activate an NCU so I can. I'm going to activate an NCU. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the my last Tibble token mm -hmm. and I'll do the crown again. Okay. Uh, and I, oh wait, I never did a panic test on these guys, huh? Oh, okay. Um, they're uh, five up. They're good. Okay, good. And I used this, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, I'll go ahead and take this. Okay. Uh, reposition them. Actually, do I want to reposition them or do I want to? This guy. <laughs> Three. So these guys six, seven, eight, nine. Actually. 
Actually, no. These guys. I don't think they will be able to... Oh, the, well, these guys I, are just going to do a maneuver action. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah. if, if they were going to look to get these guys, they'd probably want to... They'd have to align, like, that way. Um, yeah, they should be able to... Yeah, they to should be able to maneuver and be an auto-in later on, yeah. if that's what you're thinking. Devastating impact isn't going to do anything for me. Yeah. But, I mean, these guys could still... I don't know what kind of shenanigans you got with them. Mm. All right, that's okay. them. So now these guys are Tibble activated. does his little thing. Yep. Uh, so he's going to jump over here, and I will. I'm sorry. Did you? Yeah, these guys have a. These um, guys have yeah, marked. yeah, they were the mark unit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so Tibble will do his thing, mm -hmm. and he is going to have these guys take a panic test. Okay. So fives. So this or will sixes. make them go down. This is a minus one to them, to them okay, so they so go from a seven. Of these. Yeah. There we go. All right. So you're. Uh, no. uh, yeah. No panic. No right. panic token. Yeah. yeah your dice are uh, getting hotter as we as we kind of warm up a little. They bit. They have a lot of making up to do. <laughs> <laughs> to you, sir. All right. Uh, then I've just got. Well, I have a few choices, but I'm going to go with Roos since the, mm -hmm. um, co the combat zone is still open. Sure. We'll jump on there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat what I did before. You got it. Uh, auto wound to the black guard. Yep. And I think I will re panic them again. Sure. Panic. And shoot, they don't have a weakened token anymore, thankfully. Mm -hmm. uh, so six in the flank uh, with re rolls and precision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two autos and okay. three hits. Okay, um, that's three on anything I should know about. Just uh, minus one to your armor because I'm shooting you in the side. In so the that's side, fives. Yeah. Three at five. That is one save. Okay, so um, that's a total of four. Four hits. So, so that's, that's going to be one, two, uh, two. And then he's on his last wound then, I think, right? Yep. Three, four. Yep. And now his... And then a panic... Panic, which has been going so well for me. Oh. Four. Uh, nope. That's, that's enough. That's, that's enough. enough. And then my guys are going to take a panic. Uh -huh. Panic test. Uh, they need five. They pass. They're going to pivot since they are no longer engaged. I'm sorry these dice aren't giving you a better game, man. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, um, yeah, I forgot to shift them. That's fine. Uh, might as well. Might as thinking well. All right. Um, whatever. She's going to go here. I'm going to play assault orders All right. on them. She'll still influence them mm -hmm. so they roll their highest. This is just basically me kicking so over. Did they, the, did they get the charge? I thought you only charge off of the. Uh, uh, if I control the, the. Uh, oh no! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That changes things. I mean, you can charge with. Them. I can charge you can with activate an activation. Them. Yeah, and then hang on to the. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have to. Because I'm activated out on the board, so yeah. I, I can't do anything else in there. Yep, so I'll have to do that. So uh, instead, like I said, I'm going to okay. do that. Um, don't roll a one. That's a four. I think no matter what, you're going to go over the wall, though. Yeah. Um, so you'll, you'll lose your re-rolls, and I'll get a, a plus one to my armor. Well, let's see here. Do these guys have anything that helped me with that? Uh, superior numbers will give them their re-rolls back. Um, they're vulnerable. The superior of numbers, if uh, it's the same or more? If this unit's... Oh, fewer ranks. You're right. You're right. Um, but they were successfully attacked. Oh, never mind. Perseverance and Valor. They there have more ranks. So they will get rerolls. Uh, they are vulnerable now. And they're weakened, but they're already weakened, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter. 
So that brings them back up to seven on fours with re-rolls. And precision. Okay, All right. so one precision. One precision and five. Five, okay. Mm -hmm. Four, five. Uh, I'm on twos because you ran through there. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a vulnerable though? Okay, vulnerable I assume? Yeah. Nope. Uh, okay, I still take a panic test because of the precision. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're not vicious or anything? Mm, I don't believe so. Nope. Okay, so five up. And they are good. Nope. All right. So they're activated. Um, I will activate these guys mm -hmm. uh, before they get whittled down anymore. And they're going to attack. Mm -hmm. They'll just stay where they are. Um, let's see if I have anything here. I'll play our blades are sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be better if I had a uh, panic token on you, but uh, I just get precision. precision. Nope. All right. All right. Better hurry up. Uh, it won't take long. So, <laughs> uh, two ranks, they go to five dice. Yep. So five dice, no rerolls on fours. Precision. So a mighty one hit. Oh, uh, I'm weakened. You want to weaken it? Yeah, why not? Okay. Doesn't right. matter. Uh, and that's just a precision hit. Yeah. Uh, so they're so, precision, so you just take one wound. Yep. And then, um, oh, I think we forgot to do the horrific visage. We can resolve oh. that. We can resolve that. Oh, yeah, afterwards. we'll do it. Okay. Uh, um, these guys on sixes, anything uh, Vicious. So, so eights. Eight. Okay, so one more. One more. And then well, we'll let's do the, do the horrific, horrific visage. Yeah. And that so two more. Actually, that would have likely impacted that last roll because Maybe. I would have been attacking I think with fewer I, dice. Yeah, I only took one wound, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not concerned about it. Um, okay. Uh, then it's back to me. I'll do this with assault orders. Okay. Um, actually, I'll do this with assault orders. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, so that will be four, five? Yeah, five with... They won't get re-rolls. Uh, but they will get Perseverance and Valor. Okay. Uh, you'll do the Horrific Visage. Yep. At a minus two. No. Okay. So those guys go. So that drops their attack down to four. Uh, but they, they all hit. All. And they have Precision, and right? Precision, so one okay. auto hit. So that's three. Three on threes. Hey. There ouch. you go. If there's any justice, <laughs> any justice at all. Um, they don't have vicious, right? Nope. Okay. Five. Yeah. Oh, there you right. go. Got it. All right, but now I can't shoot you. I can't mm -hmm. shoot you with my archers because then I just automatically kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, back to me. I'm yep. just gonna have these guys charge. Yep. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. They'll go mm -hmm. through the. Um, they go through that, so mm -hmm. they're not going to get re-rolls, and you get plus one armor, so that just kind of negates the, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of negates the yeah, um, flanking bonus, basically. Yeah. So um, They're on, they have four dice, I think, mm -hmm. on one rank. Four dice, four up. Okay, they got three. All right. Three on uh, whatever your standard armor Five, is. Uh, fours. Okay. Uh, one... Fails. Okay. Then, and then uh, it's a minus three, so it's vicious and in, uh, in the flank. Shoot. Uh, so that's nine. Nope. That's two. All right. You know what? Just call it there. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm. I, I'm yeah, sure we no, can play no it point, out. Yeah. Like yeah. you're not going to be able to do anything else at this point. So. No. Yeah. Good game, man. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah. you coming yeah. out. Thanks for coming out. It was nice to nice to finally get a game in with you. Yeah. Alright, so how did this game go? Well, this was definitely a bloody match, 
Six combat units were killed between, between both sides, and among the four surviving units, only one of them was not at their last rank when the game ended. Neither of us had any intention to play this game in the manner that high-level competitive matches of Fire and Blood play out, with round after round of positioning and jockeying for position before a few short sallies secure one player a big points lead. Those matchups end up looking like a pride of lions circling a herd of wildebeest, with the lions eventually picking off a young or weak wildebeest and then scrambling away with their prize. So all this is to say that while we both hope you enjoyed the game, don't look to this match to teach you how to play Fire and Blood at a competitive level. Now, let's quickly run through the round-by-round -round action and then give some final thoughts. So here's the end of round one, and uh, if we think back to what I was thinking about it at the start of the game with the most probable and most dangerous courses of action, it looks like things are kind of developing in the most probable, uh, sort of more towards the more, more prob most probable rather than most dangerous here. Uh, for me, I was relieved to see that the Outriders didn't come in on, on round one, uh, so that means they're going to be sitting on the bench until round three, which gives my Bolton Bastard Girls and Cutthroats time to slice and dice that uh, that right flank over there. So, and as you see, the Karstark Spears are on their last leg right now. They're about to go down. Uh, they took a real serious punch from those two units. So, um, they're kind of in a pretty good position to to maybe swing swing around uh, into Zach's front line. And my front line and his front line are kind of moving in the way that I predicted. Uh, so, nothing too much to report there. All right. By the end of round two. Uh, Zach is kind of having to react to those Karstark spears going down so quickly. So he was able to flex his, his Karstark loyalists over there to meet the, the uh, cutthroats. So those two are all are locked up together right now. And his, um, his berserkers went down, uh, but they also left my, my second blackguard unit on, uh, on just like one wound or a couple of wounds left. So my Blackguard unit's not looking too good, uh, but then my commander's unit and his commander's unit are, are smacking away at each other right now. And by the end of this round, I am just kind of waiting to see where uh, where those Outriders go. Uh, really, anywhere they go is going to be bad for me right now. I've I positioned my injured Blackguard in such a way that they might be able to receive a uh, a charge from them and not and not be flanked. I'm, I'm mostly worried about my archers getting uh, run down at this point. And, uh, but yeah, really anywhere those Outriders pop up next round is going to be bad news for me. All right, by the end of round three, things have uh, developed quite a bit here. My entire offensive flank has been routed. So between the Outriders coming in and uh, I think they killed off the, the dogs and then the Karstark Loyalist finished off the Cutthroats. Uh, so all my kind of fast-moving, hard-hitting units are, are gone, with the exception of my archers, who have been pulling a lot of uh, weight um, in this in this game. I was, I've been really impressed with them so far. So now, at the end of the round, I'm, I'm kind of thinking to myself where those Outriders are going to go, because from where they are right now, they could pretty easily charge my, um, charge my archers from there. It might be a little bit of a long charge, but they could get there. Uh, that would be really the worst case scenario for me, especially since once they get in there to those archers, my black guard won't be able to see them. They'll be out of line of sight. Um, so yeah, that's where we are right now. I have a sizable points lead, but you know, I have one unit that's severely injured and I have those archers who were just aching to be charged by, uh, by cavalry. So, uh, we'll see how, how things develop. Now, uh, this is the end of the game, so round four was the last round. Those Outriders actually charged the Blackguard instead of the Archers, so um, I was relieved to see my Archers survive the game, I think completely unharmed. I don't think anything attacked them or panicked them or anything, so they were able to just machine gun stuff all all game, and uh, they pulled, they you know, proved a lot of, of their value here. And uh, so killing the Outriders, I kind of machine gunned those Outriders with my Archers. And then the, the game ended with 
three units stuck in the middle. They're all just severely beat up. And uh, I won on points uh, with 10 points at the end of round four to Zach's five points. For my part, I was pretty pleased with how tanky my front line was for most of the game. Steel Shanks never failed the panic test, which was good for my troop's health in one respect, but prevented him from using his shared fear attachment ability. My Dreadfort archers, like I said in the round-by-round -round breakdown, were absolute champs in the game, pumping out damage all game, completely unmolested. I thought they'd get charged by the Outriders uh, once my right flank was crushed, but Zack targeted the Black Guard instead. My glass cannon units performed pretty well on their flank until they didn't. They broke a hole in Zack's line, but didn't survive long enough to really exploit it. Zack chose not to outflank the Outriders until turn 3. I think this ended up being a mistake, since a lot of damage was done by the time that they arrived to the battle. If I were playing his army, I probably would have put them out on round 1 and then targeted the dogs for destruction. If nothing else, this could have divided and slowed down my push on the right flank and given him time to get the loyalists and spearmen to work together to route the cutthroats. I think it's a common mistake to hold the outflank for too long. I think outflank's greatest value is in its turn zero power to affect the way your opponent deploys his forces. Since he can't know which flank they'll come in on, he has to either balance his forces in such a way as to prepare either side to receive the outflank, or he ignores the outflank and then just reveals the juicy underbelly of, his, of where his army will be. Either way, this gives the outflank player the opportunity to choose which side, or neither, to deploy on. I think the general of the outflank should come out on turn one, unless neither of his opponent's flanks are appealing targets, or that he's likely to make a bad trade if he deploys early. We both made some rules mistakes and oversights in this game, but I've tried to call those out as I saw them during the editing process. Feel free to call out anything I missed in the comments, though. Well, that's going to do it for battle report number 20. Thanks again for everyone for helping get the channel past the 1,000 sub mark. I'm really looking forward to what's coming up for the channel, and a big thanks to Zach for the fun game and to The Forge for hosting. Until next time, this is Randall, signing off.